under my belly. You there? I don't know you. Are you new here? <laughs> well, I will know you. Oh, what? We're live. When? Like right now? Uh, I'm ready. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Daily Gym Exotics. Automotive news, that's right, your number one source for all automotive news on the internet. This is our one millionth episode. I appreciate you not fact checking that. Our top story today is a rich dude going absolutely bananas downtown New York and is very rare 125 Mirage GTs. Now, I've done my research, which means I've gone to the internet and used Google to my advantage to get all the news for you guys here today. We're gonna break this one down piece by piece and figure out what the f this happens. Okay, so what do we know so far, you guys? Well, according to roadandtrack.com, the car was owned by infamous supercar collector Benjamin Chen, and well, he was arrested by the NYPD following this incident and charged with reckless driving and operating under the influence of drugs. If that's true, dude, you're a Doing drugs and driving or drinking and driving is absolutely unexcusable. And in this case, you could have killed a lot of people. Let's go look at the footage and try to figure out what happened. Okay, so we start off with security footage and right away you'll see the car completely sideways through the intersection. I mean, maybe this dude was going for reverse entry. Maybe he's a drifter. I played Grand Theft Auto a few times and it's a lot of fun, but I guess at some point video games aren't enough when you have so much money. Like, Man, this game's lame. I want the real action. I want to feel this in real life. I'm gonna take my million dollar car I'm gonna go and tear apart New York City. The first victim on his reign of automotive terror is a beautiful, I don't know the paint code, white Toyota Senna. Now, maybe this dude has an issue with minivans. Like, maybe when you're a kid going on road trips, your parents are like, if you don't shut up back there, I'm gonna turn this van around. And one day this Ben guy is like, one day, I'm gonna find every minivan I can and take it out. Cause when he hits this minivan, like, watch this. Boom, this minivan like, like, I'm pretty sure it got air. Look, go back and look. The whole front of the minivan jumps off the ground. Now, luckily, as far as we know, there was nobody in the van at the time and nobody on the sidewalk. Normally, because right now we are under a lockdown due to the COVID virus, there would be hundreds, if not thousands of people on the sidewalks, and this incident could have killed somebody. Hits the minivan, minivan is like, proper as well as his car, his Mirage GT is completely destroyed. The front end's all smashed in, the back tires are literally like buckled in, and you would think at this point you'd say to yourself, okay, my bad. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to do drugs, go for a drive, I just my car, I could have killed somebody. I'm gonna like, you know, turn the engine off, be like, I'll deal with it. Because you know what, accidents do happen. We've all been in car accidents, I've been in an accident. What do you do? You go, oh, Sucks. Am I okay? Are you okay? Cool. Let's call the cops. But in this case, Benjamin Chen decides, well, you know what? If I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out with a bang. And that's where he takes off. Again, you can literally hear people going like, where the f*** is this dude going? Listen. <laughs> where the f*** do you think he's going? Imagine the shock you would be if you saw this car crash. And the fact that the car can actually drive away is amazing. Like, that car, I'm shocked still operating. What's more shocking is the driver's like, I don't think anybody saw this. You can literally see two dudes with like bright yellow vests like looking at him and he's like, oh, they didn't see me. They didn't see me. Dude, wrap your car a camel next time. You might have a better chance. Okay, let's keep going. As he drives away, you can literally see the front tires like. But this is where it gets crazy. So you'll see right here, the, the light just turns red. And at that point, he literally rips it. Listen to this. Listen to the audio of this. Oh, on a slightly lighter note for a second, that car does sound pretty good. You know, the V10 and the Carrera, something very special. Just needs to be put in the proper hands of the proper people, not, you know, this dude. Stop, 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 look at this. You can literally see the front hood fly off the car as it rips through a, looks like, second red light. Like, I'm not even joking, you guys. This legit looks like a scene of Grand Theft Auto V. It's almost unbelievable what happens here. And it keeps going. Over and over, you can hear him. I mean, I think he's having a good time. Oh, 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 oh,
He's dragging the tire. He's dragging the tire. Allegedly, we don't see it on film, but it hit four to five more vehicles in the process. Now, if you look at the car, the windshield was smashed, so maybe there's a visibility. Also, the driver allegedly was on drugs, so maybe that was a contributing factor. The front tire is wrong. What is wrong with this dude? You're not good? What is wrong with this dude? Shout out to that dude. And it goes on and on and on. You can literally hear him drive four to five blocks downtown Manhattan, and you can literally hear him on it. He's not putting the way. He's literally like. So here's a scene now where it looks like there's one NYPD officer who's finally stopped him, and the car, as you can see in this clip, the guy with the camera walks around the front of the car, and you can see the front passenger side is completely gone. The tire is still attached. However, there's no headlight. There's no hood. There's no fender. There's coolant everywhere. The windshield's completely smashed. Now what we don't know right now is did he just stop finally because he's like, hey man, like this is pretty dumb. Even for a guy that like does drugs and drives, I'm I'm probably smart enough at this point and just stop. Or did NYPD actually pull him over? I'm not quite sure. Now right here, you literally listen. He starts the car again. You gonna parallel park it for the cop, make it easier for him, or was he planning on leaving the car? The cop's like, turn the car off. Where are you going, dude? And he's just like, huh? Oh, no problem. He's gonna run away. And I'm not sure if it's the cop or someone off camera is like, he's trying to run away. He's gonna run away. So at this point, he shuts the car off, opens the door, and the cop's like, no, 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 stay in your car. Which is standard procedure. They don't want the guy running off, running away. They don't know what's going on. They're trying to investigate. This dude's trying to start his car ripped apart. They can try to get out, and the cop's just like, hey, 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 time out. Enough. Cop walks up to the window, he's talking to him, and he's like, hey man, you just f***ed up your Porsche. You just f***ed this thing up. What were you thinking? Yeah, I'd really be curious to see what the cop's saying right now. Like, what, what year is this thing? Nice. Yeah, I might get a boxer one day. Okay, so here we are now, the dude driving, which has been called out as Ben Chen, gets out, hands in his pockets, he's like, got some sick Nikes on actually, I like those, I could use those in my collection. Gets out of the car, stand out of the car, yeah, maybe he's in shock right now, or he's kind of just like, I'll get another one. Just a car. Just a 125 rare car that he doesn't deserve. So at this point, the cop's like, put your keys in the back of the car, which makes sense. But what's crazy is, you know, you would think in this situation, if one of us in a normal car, like a Honda Civic, whatever, did what he did, would the cops be this chill with him? Or does this dude have so much money and so much pull in New York, the cops know who he is, and he's getting special treatment. I don't know. I don't know the facts. I wasn't there. But based on what I'm seeing, it's shocking to see how he's treated. In fact, he walks around with his hands in his pockets and the cops legit turn their back to him. So they must know who he is or think he's not a threat. So at this point, there's three cops and the owner Ben's just like, I don't know what happened. I mean, I was just, I was just going for a drive and then like, I think like the cruise control took over and hit a minivan and then like drove for five blocks and the whole car blew apart. And I'm pissed. I'm with you guys. Like this car is a piece of I'm gonna write Porsche a letter complaining about the quality of their car. I mean, I don't know what else you could say at this point. At this point now, he's doing the full, the full, I think he's trying to do an airplane impression. He's pointing over here, pointing over there, pointing up there, pointing down there. And at this point, the cops are just like, do you just like spray with a fire hose? I would pay serious money to hear this conversation of how he's explaining this to the cop. Yeah, I was just going for a drive listening to my Will Smith CD and the whole car blew apart on me. I don't know what's going on, officer. But I'm definitely on your side. I'm pissed about this. I mean, this this isn't right. Cops still haven't cuffed him. If in fact this dude was playing Grand Theft Auto 5 the night before and was like all tempted and inspired by it, how hard was it for him not to jump in that fire truck and take over and literally spray the hose at people? I guess the whole cops around is probably like, yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, I don't know if you guys spotted this, but literally, look at this. The driver, Ben, literally grabs a cop by his shoulder as he walks over and points to his car. And the cop's literally just like, what? What's up? You good? What's up? In my experience, not that I have a lot of experience with the cops like this, but I've seen things on TV. When you grab a cop and he's not paying attention, they tend to not respond the best. But in this case, again, maybe because this dude's so rich, has so much pull with the police, Kind of like can do whatever he wants. He literally grabs the cop's shoulder and is like, I'm gonna go back and grab something. You cool if I go grab something? The cop's like, Yeah, knock yourself out. What more damage could you do? Goes back to his car. And I can only imagine right now, what could you possibly need in that moment from your car? 
your iPhone charger. You've got the nice OEM Apple one, you know, the nice one where it doesn't doesn't crack as easy. Did he legit steal the Declaration of Independence? Was he watching Grand Theft Auto and Nick Cage movies at the same time? We'll never know. It'll greatly be a mystery. And upon further investigative reporting, which is basically me just searching the internet like you guys, turns out, as I investigated, this is not the first time Mr. Chen has completely destroyed an exotic car in a very public and spectacular manner. I found an article in Dolopnet.com dated back in June 2013 where the same owner and driver, Ben Chen, was on a rally and just outside Texas was in a rented McLaren MP412C Spider and lost control at a high rate of speed when a van allegedly cut him off. Holy shit. it was a van and the white van. Is this really a vendetta against vans? Is it full circle? Holy shit. A van cut him off, lost control, span around, hit a fence, and legit smashed into a mini storage. And this car is destroyed. The back end's ripped off. Like, this car is not getting fixed anytime soon. Now, thankfully, again, nobody was injured. He had a passenger, no one was hit. Much like the New York situation, there was just property damage. How many chances is this guy gonna get before he kills somebody? A few years after the McLaren incident, he was involved in an accident, and it's very rare, ultra rare, one of three Murcielago SVs manual gated. Yes, they made three gated Mercy Lagos. Well, there's two left now because, you know, Ben wrecked that one as well. And then he was involved in an incident with his rare CLK GTR a few years later. So, so as I can tell, this dude's been involved in accidents like this four times. This one obviously being the worst. You know, at what point do you not get your license back? So here's the moral of the story. And I made this really clear on a little card for you guys. Don't be stupid. Okay, don't do drugs or drive after and or. Don't drink and drive. If you are involved in an accident, stay put, wait for the cops to come, own it, right? In fact, I created this scale for this video. It's very scientific. I spent $18,000 on it. It's called the up scale, okay? And look at it like this. Here's my official pointer. Here's the bottom, that's not up at all. Here's the top, it's really bad. In the middle, there's kind of like the, uh, the equator, if you will. Now, down here, you get in an accident, let's say, you know, you know, you back into somebody in a parking lot, you didn't check your blind spot, and there's a fender bender, and you know, you pull over, and you're like, hey dude, I'm sorry, and they're like, yeah, no problem, we're good, everybody's safe, call an insurance company, take care of it, you little smiley face, you know, it's part of life, it's gonna happen. I mean, you're driving around in a car, cars move, things that move usually hit each other sometimes, it is what it is. Now, in the middle, there's like a point where it's like, not such a happy face anymore. You know, this is like, this is bad. Like you do something bad, and you're speeding, or you weren't watching, you're texting and driving, something like that. And then over here, this is like that this incident in New York where like you literally are intoxicated under the influence, driving a car, speeding, hitting cars, multiple cars, leaving. That's at the very top of the scale. If that, you get a very big sad face. Now, I wanna ask you guys a few questions. Should Benjamin Chen get his license back? At some point is enough is enough. The incident in the McLaren, he was issued a reckless driving ticket, 2013, and a few more accidents, and now here we are in New York during a pandemic, taking all the police's attention away from what they're supposed to be focused on, which is protecting people during the virus, and instead they're chasing around some rich dude in a very rare car, completely destroying the city. You can see him talking to a cop, and he's trying to explain himself, is like this. I'm pretty sure he's like, that Carol Baskin set me up. She got in my, she put a line in my car. I wasn't even there. I mean, I was there at the end of it. I got in the car and I got the line out. I'm not scared of lions. I'm tough. I'm rich. I got lions at my house. Expensive ones. Got those snow leopards as well. 